Ha ha! Welcome back to another Top 10 Tuesday. Ha ha! Today we're talking about the Top 10 Best Disney Songs. And go! Ha ha! That's Disney songs in movies. Staying on with theme. Bill, I'm sure you have plenty for us. Start us off. I mean, can't, can't we all just agree right now that the best Disney movie, as far as music goes, is Aladdin? Absolutely. Can't. I was ready to argue, but no, can't argue with that. Yeah, I mean, Aladdin by far has had the best music, at least, you know, in my opinion. So are we drilling down to specific songs? No. Yeah. I think just, okay. just by film will be enough. Okay. Yeah. Kind of all goes together usually. You know, movies have tend to have a theme, so. True enough. I feel like even if you had songs, though, one of, some of the Aladdin songs would probably be the top. I feel like the top three, yeah, would end up being yeah, Aladdin yeah. songs. Or at least the top two, in my opinion. Well, I'm going to put it out there. Um, Lion King sort of backed up. Yeah, so that's, that's an early number one seed. Uh, we can put that on the list. Obviously, as you know, Bill represent the Lion King. Yeah, yeah, that'd probably be my second. Yeah, hard to argue against, to be honest. Uh, Aristocats was that a Disney movie? Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, Aristocrats. I want to say, Adventures. The Adventurers, the Rescuers. Sorry, I'm getting Rescuers. Uh, Chip and Dale mixed up with, yes, The Rescuers. They had two movies. There's also, of course, uh, Fiebel, the American Story Fiebel. That yeah. had some seriously oh, good songs. That wasn't Disney, though. It wasn't Disney? Oh, oh huh. mm-hmm. I think we should put it on the list anyways. Screw Disney. No, that sullies the list. Okay. Yeah. Why do I got these ears on if we're not doing Disney? Yeah. Okay, okay. We can talk about that when we... Get. Mickey Mouse gonna show up and rampage and shoot yes. shoot you for that. <laughs> Kneecap you with a crowbar. Okay, in then South someone Park. else gives me a good Disney. Who are these guys? Do I own them yet? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so the rescuers, Aristocats, Lion King, Aladdin. <coughs> Excuse me. What music was in the rescuers though? Yeah, I don't remember. I don't think I ever saw it. Yeah. Oh, hell, the didgeridoo in the down under one which is maybe i yeah i can't think of any songs i might be thinking of five all mixing cross mixing cross pollinating with it so let's take the rescuers off aristocrats because i think Uh, oliver and company i don't think i saw that either it's kind of a dark horse there yeah no never seen oliver and company oh man it sounds vaguely familiar but billy joel Get a lot of the music for it. Oh, was he like the dog? Wasn't he a dog or something? Yeah, he was the dog. Yeah, I did see yeah. that. Just, you know, Oliver Twist, but with animals. Gotcha. Yeah. Why should I worry? Why should I care? Again, I'm pretty sure it's not Disney that's coming into my head, and I don't even know if it was a musical, All Dogs Go to Heaven. Yeah, that wasn't Disney either. And I don't think that was musical either, but you brought up Oliver where Oliver twists with dogs, so. Yeah. Randomness pops in my head sometimes when discussing certain nostalgic properties. Are we not going to acknowledge that Brian said Disney coming into his head? (laughs) Okay. Okay. Moving on, Mike. (laughs) (laughs) Little Mermaid. Okay. Yeah. I can't argue with that. I remember... It's better down or it's wetter. One track mine today, huh, Mike? I didn't write the song, okay? <laughs> yes, but you're putting all the pretty and meeting into all this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hunchback of Notre Dame. Okay. I can get behind the Hunchback. And Mike, do not take it where I think you're going to take it there. <laughs> you took it there. Before yeah. you there. could. Okay. You seem to be in that mindset. Hunchback definitely had the darker songs, I thought. I'm just going to be honest. I uh, couldn't make it through the Hunchback in Notre Dame. It was weird and boring. Turned it off. It was definitely out of step with some of the other Disney movies. That's yeah. how I felt about, actually, Pocahontas. 
same for oh, Pocahontas. Okay. I know I, Lauren gets so mad at me about that, but I, man, I don't know. Yeah, I've but never painted got... with all the colors of the wind, and I'm fine with that. Just around the river bend. <laughs> Uh, by the time Pocahontas came out, I feel like we were all kind of tired of Disney. Probably. Yeah, that whole stretch there was uh, was pretty rough. Because I didn't like Hercules either. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, I went I like back Hercules. later, and I actually did enjoy it to a certain extent. But I didn't catch it when it came out. Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen it in, in years, but... I will have There's to say... There's some funny bits. I will have to say Snow White. That was a musical, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was the yeah. first. You always remember your first. It was that song that the dwarves were singing. Hi-ho, hi-ho. Yeah. I, I use that yeah, out of go. context. So off to work we go. I use that. Oh, really? What's the context? Hi-ho, okay. Use <laughs> your mic m- sexual mind powers for this one. I'm strolling around Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get my ass kicked. Or probably get propositioned. Yeah. My Mike sexual mind powers. <laughs> Put that on my resume. <laughs> I mean, I have a couple more. Okay. You know. Lay them on us, Bill. Mulan. Let's get down to business. Absolutely. Huh? I can't believe I forgot Mulan. <laughs> I Serve that one up for you, Mike. Let's I'll make a business. man out of you. <laughs> I tried to forget about Mulan. <laughs> Which uh, comedian was it? Chris Tucker or Chris Rock who did the? That was Dragon? Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. Oh, Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. He was also in Shrek. Something we can't include. Which? My actually. That may actually. Up. Dishonor on you. Dishonor on your house. <laughs> on your cow. <laughs> that may be my second favorite, actually. Mulan. Mulan. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's it's up there, yeah. Let's Ugh. get down to business. The hunt. Well, I'll be the one driving. That could also that be a Baltimore thing. Defeat the hunt. <laughs> Good, on... actually. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good one. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. Mm. Oh. Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, mm. man. Yeah, you mm. Didn't that win Best much. Picture? Might have. I don't remember. I think that may be like one of the few animated movies to ever win Beauty Best Picture. Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Angela Lansbury is <laughs> Yeah. Murder, Tale she wrote. As as time. I am surprised yeah. someone didn't die in that just because she showed Something up. The Murder, She Wrote in effect. <laughs> Wherever Angela Lansbury goes, someone gets killed. Set for in Beauty and the Beast. Gaston gets killed. Spoilers. Yeah. No, no one, one dies, dies like, like Gaston. Gaston. <laughs> Tries to fly like Gaston. <laughs> it's the bottom of the fucking ravine like Gaston. Does he get murdered or I vaguely remember him dying because he's an idiot. Yeah, he falls, I think. Yeah. yeah That's not really like murder. Tries to pull a pistol and shoot him, but then like stumbles or some shit. Yeah, something like that. Yep, that's... Uh, bigots get the bullet too. In any other movie, Gaston would have been the hero. <laughs> yeah, that was right. what the beauty of Beauty and the Beast. I mean, it, songs aside, the theme was one of Disney's best. Little Mermaid was iconic. Sl- uh, not Sleeping Beauty. I didn't really think that was too buzz. Snow White had a good theme to it. What was the theme for Mulan? Cross-dressing and trying to get into the army? That one's vague in my memory. I mean, people talk about Frozen being like the strong Disney princess, but Mulan by far. I mean, she, yeah, she pretends to be a guy to get in the military, but she's like one of the best soldiers and ends up saving the entire empire. So, I mean. Yeah, yeah. I think I get that confused with uh, The Last Airbender a lot in my head. <laughs> you know the whole oriental theme but yeah uh, moving on yeah i agree though mulan was definitely the badass disney princess 
I mean, Frozen, I guess, subverts all those expectations. Frozen, I guess, we got to put on the list, right? Speaking of. I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a big fan either. It's just so overhyped. Yeah. By far, Moana was the better, the better film. Better music, too. Put that on the list. I hated the snowman guy. I couldn't get over the snowman guy. He was my Jar Jar Binks. Okay. See, Damn. O- Olaf is kind of like that d- divisive character because you either love him or you hate him. Personally, I think he's the redeeming factor of the of Frozen. I couldn't get through the movie because of his antics. I'm like, okay, Jar Jar Bink. I'm getting Jar Jar Bink's vibe. Jar Jar Bink's vibe. I'm out of this. Yeah, a lot of people Brutal. hate him, like think he's the worst part of the film. So. I mean, maybe he works out later, but I couldn't get through that movie. What about Tangle? Anyone watch that? That seemed like a strong chick. Uh, yeah, I watched it. I don't really remember the music, um, mm-hmm. but it was a it's a decent movie. We're doing music, so and I have not seen it. So we'll put Frozen on. Maybe an honorable mention. Maybe a number ten, just as the one that was there and popular. And has all the YouTube like videos. Elsa getting people. molested by Spider-Man. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Did that call? Oh, there was a whole trend of people using like Spider-Man and Elsa in these creepy little live-action movies. Oh, and some I of them got a, a little those, creepy. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. There's a gumball machine. Yeah, I saw that on Couch App, I think. I haven't actually watched any of the videos, but... Plenty of people on YouTube has covered that sort of crap. I think they threw Joker in for a mix for a while. That sounds right. How about Robin Hood? Oh, oh fuck yeah. Yeah. The, the widely Fox Robin Hood. I can't uh, put it very high because I don't remember the music being a big part, but it was definitely a good movie. Just the one song um, that the narrator guy was whistling which is actually escaping me now. Thank you, yeah. 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 And then there's not Nottingham, the super sad prison song. Yeah, it's a good one. Mm, Dumbo? There's like one song that was pretty good. It was the racist, <laughs> the racist song, actually. Yeah, yeah. That was the... Gro- I've done seen but it was a good everything. song. Well, yeah. I ain't seen no elephant fly. <laughs> I've seen a house fly. Can we put Mary Poppins on this list? It was part. Are, are we just doing? I mean, we could. It is Disney. I mean, yeah, I, I think it counts. I mean, for this Ooh, list, we're going changer, with though, because man, Mary Poppins has some some tasty jams. Yeah, I know. Tasty if jams. we're talking about music <laughs> and iconic Disney music. Spoonful of Step sugar time, makes a medicine go down. Who forgets that song? Yeah. There's all this chim chim in the room. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're not just stuck to uh, animated. So, any other The lives? Avengers. <laughs> go to hell, Mike. No music in that. <laughs> oh, Pirates. Pirates won. Did, Great that score. Great, it's score. We're da-da-da. talking about Disney da-da-da. musical da-da-da. style. Da-da-da. Stay well, on theme. Yeah, it's, all right. I mean, it's, it's, it's in the. It's in the yeah, realm. I feel like Mary Poppins just barely squeaks in there because one, it has animation in it, and two, it's kind of with the the feel and theme of Disney music. You know what I mean? Yeah. The characters are singing the songs. It's right. The original. It's original music with you know lyrics. You know, so it kind of fits in the theme. All right, that, that makes sense. Uh, Toy Story 1 was not Disney. Correct. Uh, was I can't it think of... Not Dis- I thought uh, it was both. Disney, Pixar. I think it was before the merger, if was I'm not it? mistaken. Okay. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. <clears throat> I can Google it if you like. Sure, why not? Let's Google see. it. Use the Google. Jungle Book. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck yeah. I thought about watching that today, actually. I want to be you. And just for reference, we're going with all the animated, even if it has a live action version. Correct? 
Yeah. I'm sure that's sure. going to come up in our podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah. These are all animated. I mean, to me, there's no contest that the animated versions are have better music, especially. Nah. Uh, produced by Pixar and released by Walt Disney Pictures. Uh, so, uh, yeah, if you want to put a it wiener. on there. Um, Tarzan because of Phil Collins, uh, which is that's a point, but it's you know, a point, but not a very good one. I hardly remember that movie. Yeah, to be honest, yeah. I remember watching it. I remember the story was sucked. just typical Tarzan. Wrap it up. I'll take you. Wrap, it. wrap, wrap it up. We have no more. Would Would Winnie the Pooh? No. What I mean, song, that is Disney. What it's songs Disney. does it have? I mean the theme, the Winnie the Pooh theme. You can't go you with just the theme. I mean, if, Tigger's no. song was one of the yeah. Tigger's or Tigger's okay. one of the things. Tops made of the rubber, bottoms made of the springs. There's that one where it's like a blustery day. I yeah. think and they had that weird I psychedelic. I think I'm going to put it on oh, the list. Clubs of woozles. I think I should yeah. put it just as honorable mention to say Winnie the Pooh looks like the dictator of China. <laughs> and he pissed about that. I think Brian's that's the only reason I'm going to put it as an honorable like, man. <laughs> yeah, Brian is contractually obligated to bring up his hatred of China every third podcast, at least. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't think of any more. I feel like we hit all the big ones. There's probably going to be one that we missed that <clears throat> we'll think of it after, after the fact. And we'll be like, oh, shit, I can't believe we forgot that one. Okay, let me let you know what we do have. Let's see if that jogs your memory. Lion King. Aladdin, The Aristic Cats, Little Mermaid, Hunchback of Notre Dame, Snow White, Mulan, Beauty and the Beast, Frozen, Robin Hood, Dumbo, Mary Poppins, Toy Story, Jungle Book, Tarzan, and Winnie the Poop. Oh, uh, sorry, Pooh. <laughs> Oliver and Company? Yeah, oh, Oliver okay, and sorry. Company. Did we have Little Mermaid? Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. I missed it when you were reading them off. I mean, we all kind of agreed at the start. Early number one is Aladdin. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Easy. Uh, I don't see that getting knocked off. Um, Going into it, I was thinking Lion King would be number two for sure, but I could be talked out of it. I mean... Yeah, I would say Beauty and the Beast. choices on there. Beauty and the Beast probably is a better second contender. Hmm. That's just my personal opinion. Bill is the deciding factor. What is he going to choose? Do, 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 that is a, that's a tough one. Do, I mean, that is a do, tough do, one. Do, 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 do. I uh, think Lion King gets the edge, oh personally. Uh, I don't know, because Lion King has, to me, has some lame songs, too. But, but there's some pretty iconic ones. Okay, are we going with Lion yeah. King? Mike, Bill? I'd be fine with that. Yeah. Number and two? And then... Um, Beauty and the Beast is number three. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, because you have Gaston and you have. Well, I mean, what are all? Because the, it's be our guest and the Beauty and the Beast theme. I'm trying to think of all the music that's in it. Mm-hmm. Um. Wasn't there a song when they were like throwing snowballs at each other or whatever? Yeah. I don't remember it though. In the song in the beginning, Bell sings. Right. This, what is it, The this provincial life or whatever? Yeah, yeah. There's gotta be more. I think Little Mermaid would probably be next. Okay. Wouldn't argue. I would say... I mean, Under the Sea is probably one of the... I would say is probably one of the top three Disney songs ever. Bold statement. I want to put Snow White next just because it was as number five because it was the first one. It wasn't the best, but it did sort of kick off the trend. I mean, I guess I would put Mul- yeah. Mulan there personally. I mean, yeah, I was going to say. <clears throat> I mean, I get what you're saying for kind of posterity stake. Maybe, maybe it makes the list, but I don't know if putting it that high is. Also, Mulan in five... And then Snow White, I guess? No. Be a fair concession? I'm going to go with Mary Poppins next. I think it was better if we're not going to put <coughs> Snow White for the nostalgia uh, first vibe. 
Anyone disagree with that? So what what's the list look like now? Number one, Aladdin. Number two, Lion King. Three, Beauty and the Beast. Little Mermaid at four. And I want to put Mary Poppins at five. Okay. Yeah, I'd be fine with that. Okay. I would say Snow White at six, unless someone's got a better one. So, what, so what's left for us to... Aristocrat, Cats, Hunchback of Notre Dame, Snow White, Frozen, Robin Hood, Dumbo, Winnie the Pooh, Oliver and Company, Tarzan, Jungle Book, and Toy Story. I would probably mm. go with Jungle Book. <clears throat> yeah, I was going to say, I definitely want Jungle Book on the list. Uh, so Mary Poppins, then Jungle Book, then... I feel like there's a few we could probably just take off the list or put in honorable mentions right right off the bat. Yeah, the first, Winnie like, the Pooh is honorable off. mention. Yeah. And what was the first couple you read off of? It was the Aristocats and Hunchback. Do you want to put those on? Yeah, probably to definitely Aristocats as an honorable mention. Um, I kind of feel like, depending on how it shakes out, maybe Notre Dame is number 10. Uh, I I don't remember any of Oliver and Company, so I really can't comment there. Okay. Yeah, neither do I. I don't want to put. I want Toy Story more as an honorable mention because that's a weird gray area. A Pixar, Disney. I mean, if you want to, and what do you got? You got, yeah, because it really all all it has really is you got a friend in me, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's the only iconic song I can think of, and it's very weird Disney. Hmm. I could go without Frozen, to be honest, but I feel like we... Yeah, we'll put it as 10, or we can move it to honorable mention. So how many spots do we have left now? Three? I don't think we have a number seven, so seven, eight, nine, ten, so that's four. Unless I'm missing one. Unless we're putting uh, Snow White at seven. I'd be fine with that. You you feel strongly about it, so I, I wouldn't mind. It's I can't think a, of anything to go ahead of it. It's the first. It has that a few iconic songs, at least hi-ho, if nothing else. I'm sure yeah, my true. old brain would listen to it again. I'd be like, oh, yeah. Pretty sure the Queen had a epic song somewhere in there. I yeah. still think Moana should make the list. Oh, yeah, fair. What, the one that you keep pushing us to watch and I've watched like twice with my baby? I'm telling you, it's so underrated. And I feel like it just got washed out by Frozen. Oh, the the songs are okay. Why don't we put it at 10? All right, as long as it makes the list. I mean, I understand you guys haven't all seen it. I've seen it. But, uh... Fair, yeah, I'm, I'm totally fine with that. At this point, I got, you know, I pretty much got everything I wanted on the list on there. Robin Hood, should we just relegate to honorable mention? I wouldn't mind if it made the list, but... I wouldn't mind if it made the list either, but yeah, we could honorable mention it at least, yeah. Uh, are we doing Frozen at 10, but Mulana at 9? Just uh... Sure. Okay, because we gotta mention Frozen. So 8 and 7 are all we have left? No, we have 7, Snow White. We have 8 left. So, Hunchback, Aristoc- oh, we're already doing honorable mention for Aristocrat, Cats, Robin Hood, Dumbo, I think we take Dumbo and Tarzan off. I think we should actually yeah, just- rep uh, Robin Hood at number nine. At number nine? Yeah. Moana up to eight? Oh, sorry, eight. Oh, uh, or Moana. Yeah, I like Moana. Yeah, eight. eight. Robin Hood at nine. It wasn't bad of a story. The song just okay. Robin Hood nine and Frozen ten because we gotta put it on the top ten, even if we don't really care about it. And I feel like you probably have to honorable mention Pocahontas. I mean, it did have good some good songs that sure. were beloved by. 
I mean, if we're going to put Frozen in there, like, you know, then we probably, I mean, the, my thing with Frozen, too, everybody talks about, oh, the music in Frozen, Let It Go is the only thing I know from that. And I've seen it, you know. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I've probably seen it three times at this point, because, like, my sister's friends were in town with their kids, and we fucking watched it uh, right when it came out, or right when it went on demand. And I don't remember any of it. It was very yeah. forgettable, in my opinion. Extremely forgettable. Okay, honorable mention it. So I guess I'll do the list, and Mike will take us out. Yeah, okay. Okay, for the official BBM Productions and Go Podcast Top 10 Disney Musical Movies... We have number 10, Frozen. Because we got to mention it somewhere, even if we all thought it was overhyped. Number 9, Robin Hood. A few good songs with a good story, themes, and all the fun. Sorry, I'm not as funny as Mike in my commentary on this. (laughs) Number 8, Moan. Bill is obsessed with it, and it was much better than Frozen. Number seven, Snow White, the original. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho to you in the audience. Hi ho, Dave. Number six, Jungle Book, beat out Tarzan by a mile in our opinion. Number five, live action and animation combined in Mary Poppins spoonful of sugar helps some medicine go down number four little mermaid wish I could see and be part of your world we can't social distancing (laughs) damn you guys reality has no place on this podcast number three Beauty and the Beast. Remember, Gaston was not shot. He fell. Number two, The Lion King. Someone give me a number from that. A meme a whack, a meme a whack, a meme a whack. <laughs> In Kuna the time. kitchen, the mighty For kitchen. For the rest of your days. <laughs> Erlena grabbed a knife. Oh, sorry. That's the parody <laughs> version. All right. And for honorable mentions, we have many. Winnie the Pooh up there because Brian hates China and the dictator of that place gets made fun of by being compared to Winnie the Pooh. Toy Story. At least had that You Have a Friend in Me song, and it was a weird merger area between Pixar and Disney. Pocahontas, because Bill says we had to have Pocahontas on honorable mentions. To represent the Native Americans, that is. You know what I'm talking about, Bill. You're the only one with Native American in your blood. I think. Aristocrats, or cats in this case. It had some good songs, I guess. Wasn't picked by me. And your number one's Disney movie musical Aladdin. Greatest blend of comedic timing and beautiful music, in my own opinion. Yeah, that's it. Anyone has any post commentary, list side? No, I think that pretty much covers it. Well then, take us out, Mike. Well, thanks for watching, guys. This has been another Top 10 Tuesday. Um, continuing our, our musical theme. I uh, hope you enjoyed yourself. Don't forget to tell us how uh, your childhood is disrespected uh, because we left off your favorite Disney movie in the comments. Uh, check us out on Friday where we'll, where we'll have another podcast. Um... And yeah, see you next time. Ha <laughs> ha!